This Kelloland Living segment is sponsored by Willikers. Stop by their liquor superstore in Sioux Falls to browse endless aisles and a walk-in beer cooler of everything liquid and delicious. Willikers selection is intoxicating. We hear about the fun of taking a wine tour all the time. You know, head to Napa or France or even Italy to discover new vineyards and wines you've never tried before. But have you ever considered taking as a bourbon tour? They can be just as much fun and you don't even need to leave the continental United States to tour the finest distilleries in the world. But don't take my word for it. Tracy Lambert is the general manager at Willikers Liquor Superstore in Sioux Falls and he's just back from a bourbon tour of seven distilleries in Kentucky. And he even brought back some of the region's best bourbons and rice to tempt your taste for that sweet, spicy, or even smoky drink. So thank you so much for joining us and bringing back all of this. I'm excited to dive in. Yeah, it's good to be back. So you were in Kentucky. Tell me a little bit about what you toured and what you brought today. Yeah, so we, we went out on Sunday. Uh, we go there about twice a year, every year. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and we drive all over the state. So uh, one of the distilleries is actually all the way up. You drive into Cincinnati, you turn around and come back to Newport. So you're way up on the northern end. Typically, when we go, we'll do stuff down in Tennessee, too. So you're, you're driving all over the place. Everything's about 30 miles apart. So, okay, a lot of time in the car. Yep, a lot of time in the car. Very, very small, windy roads. Very, uh, very rural. It really feels a lot like South Dakota with small roads. Yeah, uh-huh. And you brought us back some of the best some of the best that we had to, to choose from on this trip, for sure. I mean, you always are limited by the selections that you're given when you're there, but typically they're not going to roll out a bad barrel for a barrel pick. So New Rift Distillery, let's talk mm -hmm. about that. Yep, so that's the one that's up by Cincinnati. So that's the furthest north we typically go on these trips. That's a fairly new distillery, uh, real state-of-the-art, but all of these kind of have a nod to history in their thing, too. So the place where you actually do the barrel pick and where they age their barrels is an old historical site, an old oh, train wow. station in Newport. So it's a really cool facility, great people up there. It's a lot of fun. That's amazing. Should we give it a try? Sure. Okay. So this is a rye. So this is the first single barrel rye from New Riff for the state. Um, we kind of pushed our way into this one. We're pretty excited to get it. So... On the tasting notes, which on these, they always put a tasting strip on the side. Yeah. And they give you the tasting notes for the three barrels you get to pick, but they don't tell you which one's which. So we always try and figure it out, obviously. Um, and one of them was leafy, and then the person's initials was AF. So we all thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but one of them was tobacco, and we thought this was the tobacco one, because uh, it just, it screamed tobacco. Yeah. And it turns out it was leafy, I guess. Okay. But leafy and tobacco, same thing. So we'll give it a shot. What are your thoughts? So the tobacco's faded quite a bit from what it was originally. Yeah. It's got some nice sweetness to it. Let's put this one right um, up here. And now Old Pepper Distillery. Mm -hmm. Let's dive into that. So that's uh, James E. Pepper. Um, that's a new distillery or new brand for South Dakota. Uh, it's kind of a relaunch of a historical one. The guy that owns it went through and bought all the rights to everything for James mm -hmm. E. Pepper. Bought the old site. It's a super cool place in Lexington. Highly recommend going there if you're traveling through. Um, and they focus on rye, so this is another rye single barrel, uh, but they have a ton of offerings. Um, really cool place, we did the tasting with the master distiller, uh, and if you're a, a fan of Dave Portnoy, he actually got thrown out of the pizza place next to this, <laughs> so I got a kick out of that when we got there. Oh, that's fun. So, yeah, fun little we'll thing We'll give this one a way. taste. I can definitely tell the difference a bit in this mm -hmm. one. Now, Buffalo Trace, you also stopped by. Let's talk about that. So that's the legendary, iconic, like, American distillery. There's a couple of them. Jim Beam's one, too. But while we were there, we actually got to do the tasting with an absolute legend. So uh, Freddie did our tour. He is the man. A member of his family has been there for every millionth barrel that Sazerac oh, wow. has rolled out from the distillery. And now his grandson is there rolling out the eighth and ninth million barrels. But just the nicest guy. I mean... He knows everybody. Everybody yeah. that we went to after we were there, like, oh, Freddie's the best, man. This one time, they all have a story. What uh, an experience to be able to have that. Let's yep. give it a taste. Okay, here we go. So this is actually an Eagle Rare pick, too. I should say that. Oh, 
I almost find this one to be a bit sweeter than the first two. Yep, and that's, uh, so these are rye's. Now we're going into a bourbon mash bill, so there's gonna be more corn, so that will lead to a sweeter flavor profile. Now limestone, is it ranch? Branch. Branch, okay. Yep. Yeah, so that is owned by the Beams, actually. The Beams have a finger in almost every distillery in Kentucky. And this so is another no iconic one to yep. be at? Yep. And now um, what are we going to taste in this one? Should be even more sweet. Uh, a little younger. The Eagle Rare was a 10-year, so probably a little bolder. Uh, a little higher proof, too, so a little more alcohol. Can definitely taste the sweetness, but it does have a kick in there, too. Mm-hmm. And then we've got another one coming up. Tell me about this. So this is... Uh, Rebel Yell, so it's owned by the same company or operates as the same company as Limestone Branch. Um, this is a weeded bourbon, so wheat tends to make it a softer overall flavor profile, uh, but it is higher proof, so it's 120. So Now, did you say this one or the last one was your all-time favorite? The Yellowstone. I really, the Yellowstone every was time your we've done a Yellowstone pick, I've really enjoyed it. I actually named the last one after me, uh, so that, <laughs> which is great. the only time I've done that. So. This one is very different mm -hmm. than all of them that we've tried. Yep, and that's the that's the amazing thing. Like, they're all doing the same thing, same way, more or less. Little twists, little tweaks, yeah. little different areas, and it makes for a totally different product. It really does. Now, the last one that we have here, let's dive into it. Yep, so that's Maker's Mark. Uh, I always tell people it's the most beautiful place on Earth. Uh, it's absolutely stunning distillery, very historic. Um, they do a little different program. So instead of doing a barrel, because everything they make is shooting for the exact same thing. Okay. So everything's same flavor profile. So they take this, which is their barrel sample at cast strength, and then they finish it with these staves that give it different flavor emphasis, mm -hmm. um, which we've tasted some of those on here before too. But uh, so typically what we do is try and dial up the sweetness or look for a, a little bit different approach to it. Well, even the branding on the bottle, I really like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very recognizable bottle with the red wax and very recognizable. Okay, this one kind of reminds me of the last one. You organized these very well. They all kind of flowed well. And this is actually just the order that we picked them in. So your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Well, the stars um, aligned for these. Yep, and that's actually a weeded bourbon as well. Well, these were, these were wonderful. Now, tell me a little bit really quick here. Why is uh, the Yellowstone one your favorite? I don't know. I've, I've had a soft spot in my heart since that brand launched here. I've always done well with it wherever I was at. Um, but that flavor profile for me, I just really like the way that it turns out. Um, it, it's hard to say, but you know, you get kind of emotional about things too, and you kind of drink with your heart. And yeah. it's always been the case for me. So that one, it's always going to be a, a little head in the clubhouse for yeah. me. Well, thank you so much for letting me try these. I think I might have just turned into a bourbon whiskey there person. We go. One, well, thanks for joining us as well. Well, Willikers is Sioux Falls' largest liquor shop. It's honestly unlike anything you've ever seen before, so stop and see it for yourself. They're located at 3625 West Vera Drive in Sioux Falls, and you can find their specials and selection on their website at willikers.com. They're open seven days a week and curbside service is available. Whatever you're looking for, they can help you start your weekend warm-up at Willikers. This Kettle Land Living segment has been sponsored by Willikers. Stop by their liquor superstore in Sioux Falls, South Dakota today to browse endless aisles and a walk-in beer cooler of everything liquid and delicious. Willikers' selection is intoxicating.